Bonnie Rogers. We're at the red carpet event for the Boston premiere of Father Stew. There's no clearer definition of a hero than somebody who serves, whether it's God, our country, their community. I mean, those are those are the people that I look up to. And you know, when all the dust settle, I always say, the people who were really there for me were the people who just, you know, they didn't they didn't necessarily wear the cool sneakers and, and represent the cool factor for me as a kid. But the care factor is so much more important. And you know. I wish I'd have recognized that at an earlier age, but it took some time, and I'll make sure I point that out to a kid so they can avoid making the same mistakes that I made. Mm. I'm praying for you, Bill. Don't you dare. You're violating my rights. There's a man going around taking names. We've all been wrong, and we've all done some wrong, but he came to forgive us. He's, he's now, he's constantly challenging me and, you know, putting me to task just to do more and to do good. And he's like, well, just imagine what you could do with this movie. And I'm like, fantastic. And as soon as, you know, the dust settles, he's like, well, what's next? And he knows my heart and, uh, you know, couldn't have a better inspiration guiding me and challenging me to do more. Who are you here to visit, sir? Father Stu. You and everybody else. When a man comes around. I wish you can pray for an easy life, but the strength to endure a difficult one. We don't all have a chance to tell our story. But I think almost everyone has a story and begins from some place, perhaps of desolation or curiosity, and by approaching faith or allowing faith to um, guide them, they, they just go in a new direction. So every story is unique and looking forward to seeing Father Stews. Um, but everyone has a story. And so everyone begins somewhere and ends somewhere. It's always powerful. Tell me about the process of bringing the movie together because you did the writing as well. Is that correct? Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I did a fair bit of research. Um, I interviewed Stuart's father, Bill. I interviewed his best friend from the seminary. Um, I talked to a few other people in his life and, uh, and sort of, you know, found the, the framework of the story and all the pivotal moments to hit and then tried to condense all of that into something under two hours and, um, and make it wildly entertaining <laughs> but it is it's, it's remarkable but he threw himself into it with with everything he had and uh, and he was just an open heart and soul and I think he you know he received abundant graces from God thanks so much for joining us we we're delighted that we had the opportunity to talk to Father Stanton from the Diocese of Manchester New Hampshire Mark Wahlberg and Rosalind thanks so much Enjoy the film when you get out to the theater.